Chapter 2, Lesson 3, Super Class Actions Learning Target I can create procedures in a superclass of Alice program. I can use procedures for a subclass in Alice program. We're going to use a four-step process to solve the problem in our today's Alice animation. We're going to use a four-step process to solve a problem in Alice animation. Step 1. Understand the problem. You will practice creating procedures for the superclass and then use them in subclasses. Create your own Alice world with different biped, quadruped, or flyer objects. Create procedures in the superclass for different actions like dance, dog will do a trick, monkey jumping, or a chicken dance. And then use the procedures for the subclasses of your choice such as dog, monkey, or chicken. You will practice creating procedures for superclass and then use them in subclasses. Create your Alice world with different biped, quadruped, or flyer objects. Create procedures in superclass for different actions like dance, dog do a trick, monkey jumping, or a chicken dance. Then use the procedures for the subclasses of your choice such as dog, monkey, or chicken. Now step one in understanding the problem, you need to first identify the objects the characters or the props. Then you need to identify the actions. Now let's take a look at an animation example here. Now in our animation here, we are going to add some objects and these objects are going to be from different classes. Chicken is a flyer class, dog is a biped, a dog is a quadruped and monkey has two legs and he is a biped. Step 1. Understand the problem. Now you have seen my video example. What you have to do is choose characters and make them do some actions. Now go to your notes. The first thing you need to do for step one is understand the problem. Now write one or two sentences that will describe what your program will do. So pause the video and write a short summary. Now you will identify the objects. You can choose your own objects like dog or monkey etc. What characters and props are needed? Next, you will identify the actions. What are they going to do? Like move, turn, roll over, flip, dance, etc. What actions are needed? Now I have completed my step one, understand the problem. I've got my description summary. I've written my world will have a dog, chicken, monkey, and a hippo. Dog will do a trick to roll over. Chicken will do a chicken dance. Hippo will dance and the monkey will jump from one place to another place. Identify the objects. I've written what four objects I need. Hippo, chicken, dog, monkey. What actions are performed like move, turn, roll over, dance, etc. Now your step one should not look exactly like mine. This is just an example how to do step one. Step two, design. We have a storyboard and we're going to do a stepwise refinement on the storyboard. Remember stepwise refinement is the process of breaking a problem into larger tasks and then breaking each task into simpler steps. So you're going to take your storyboard and divide it into four tasks. You're going to create an action procedure for an object. You're going to create action or a procedure for another object. Create another action or procedure for another object. Create another action or procedure for another object. Now for each action you have to decide which superclass you want to create it for. If I'm going to create an action dance, I'm going to create a procedure dance, then I need to decide who is going to dance. So if I'm going to say hippo is going to dance, hippo means four legs. Four legs means quadrupeds. So I'm going to create a procedure for quadruped. If I want jump to happen, who is going to jump? 
I'm going to say monkey is going to jump. So I'm going to create a procedure. Jump. Where am I going to create the procedure now? I'm, now monkey is a biped. So I'm going to create a procedure jump for a biped. Now I'm going to create a trick procedure. That means a dog can do a trick. Now where am I going to create that trick procedure? Now dog is having four legs. That means it's a quadruped. So I'm going to create a procedure do a trick in quadruped. And then if I want the chicken to dance, I'm going to create a procedure chicken dance for a flyer because chicken can fly and it is a flyer object. Now here's what my step two design a solution would look like. I have completed writing my procedures, four procedures. The ones that is highlighted in red is the name of the procedure and it also tells where am I creating the procedure. For example, rollover, I'm going to create in quadruped, dance, quadruped, jump is a biped, chicken dance is a flyer. Now for each procedure, I have my actions written. Keep in mind, we're not writing the actions in detail in our storyboard, we're just writing an outline. Now once we have finished developing in storyboard by creating procedures, we're going to set up the scene. Now, now open Alice, add four objects to your world. Keep in mind, select those objects from different superclass. Once you've done setting up the scene, put a screenshot of your scene here. Step three, implement design. You will take your storyboard procedures and create procedures in Alice. You would create your procedure number one for a biped class. You would create procedure number two for a quadruped class. You would create procedure number three for flyer class and you would create procedure number four. You would create procedure number four in the class of your choice. Once you're done creating your procedures, you will call procedures in my first method. While you're creating your procedure, don't forget to do incremental development. That means write few steps at a time and test the program while writing. Step three, implement code. Create superclass procedures. You would create quadruped procedures, you would create biped procedure, you would create flyer procedure. Do not forget to add comments at the beginning of each procedure describing the action for each procedure. Do not forget to add comments at the beginning of my first method. Your comments will include student name, lesson number, lesson name and date. Step 4. Test call procedures. Call your procedures in my first method in correct sequence. Now as you all know when I click on run my first method is executed. So the first step you want to do is select my first method tab. Second step you want to do is select the object from the instance menu. Now your procedures are created for super class. So some of them are biped, some of them are quadruped, some is flyer. So you may have to click on these objects to select your procedures. Step three, once you have your procedures, you drag the procedures and drop it into my first method editor area. Like I have it in here, chicken dance, hippo dance, poodle rollover, golden monkey jump. So you drag and drop the procedures into my first method. The last step you want to do is click run and test to see if your procedures work correctly. Now once you completed your assignment, turn it in for a grade. Finish Chapter 2, Lesson 3, Superclass Actions and complete the ALICE program and turn it in for grade.